In this problem, we're dividing a polynomial by a binomial. It's kind of like doing long division where the divisor is the two-digit number. But you really have to watch out for the steps. Let's read over carefully our helpful hint. Review the procedure for dividing a polynomial by a binomial in your textbook. Make sure you understand each step. Be sure you understand where the expression 0x squared came from in the dividend. Be very careful with the subtraction. Write out your subtraction steps to avoid sign errors. Now this time we have to be very careful, so let's go over the steps and think about each piece. We need to divide x minus 3 into a polynomial, but every single exponent has to be used. 2x cubed there isn't any x squared, so we have to put in 0x squared, and then minus 6x, and then minus 36. So as we do our division, so that the columns will line up with the right exponents, if we see that a particular variable with an exponent is missing, we sometimes need to insert a 0 term in those places. Now, let's see how we do the division. We know that x times 2x squared would be 2x cubed. Now, 2x squared times minus 3 would be minus 6x squared. Now, it's easy to subtract 2x cubed minus 2x cubed is 0, but it's not quite so obvious what happens if you start with 0x squared and you subtract minus 6x squared. What you're really saying is 0x squared added to plus 6x squared. And of course, that would give you a positive 6x squared. It's a good idea to kind of write out that little subtraction step so that you don't make a sign error. Now I bring down the next term, minus 6x. I know that x times 6x would give me 6x squared. I know that 6x times minus 3 is minus 18x. Now I want to do my subtraction. 6x squared minus 6x squared is 0, but this one is a little tricky. We have minus 6x subtract minus 18x. That's the same as minus 6x added to a positive 18x. Now when we add positive 18x and minus 6x, we see that we get positive 12x. Now we're ready for our final step of division. We bring down the negative 36. We know that x times 12 would give me 12x. We know that 12 times minus 3 is negative 36. We probably are obviously clear that 12x minus 12x is 0, but obviously here minus 36 subtract a minus 36 is the same as minus 36 added to a positive 36, so that result is also 0. So our answer for doing this entire problem is 2x squared plus 6x plus 12. When we do long division like this, you have to write your steps out very carefully, and the danger area is in the subtracting step. So it's good to write out that part of the problem. 